There is a coroner's inquest that um, is just being completed um, and we're awaiting the results of that um, to see because to see if anybody will be held criminally liable. From our perspective, from the ministry's perspective, we took the disciplinary action that was under our control to take um, in terms of the people who were not, we fired um, people who were directly um, involved uh, in, in the in the incident. Um, there are some people who come under the purview of the Public Service Commission, so that is their purview, that is not ours. Um, so yeah, and, and we're, we're really waiting to see what the coroner's inquest um, will yield. We fully cooperated with that. As a matter of fact, I think that um, from the minister's perspective, it's, it's, it's welcomed because we do want, from the beginning, we've said we want people to look objective at, at at objectively at this whole situation and that's exactly what the coroner's inquest is, is set up to do. But there's also this the legal process um, and so the Chief Justice in his capacity as Supreme Coroner ordered that a coroner's inquest be done. So that's the criminal aspect or, the, or I should say the legal aspect of it. So our report was more um, for administrative purposes for us to look at the institution and where the breakdowns occurred, et cetera, so that we could take corrective actions.